So my natural hair is actually in small twists done pre-filming. I did go ahead and slick my edges with some of the got to be gel, which we will talk more about later. You guys probably guessed that to get this style, I installed a wig unit. This unit is a gorgeous butterfly lock bob from Neat and Sleek. If you watch my wig content, you may remember when I tried my first braided wig unit from this same brand. The durability and overall quality of these units is always stellar. The main difference though being between this unit and the other one is that this unit is only a lace front unit, which does mean the back is like in tracks and is not full lace. So it does limit your hairstyles. However, this does allow for the units to not only be fuller, but more affordable. To lay my unit, I actually tried a new to me product I was curious about. This wig bond glue claimed to be effective for securing wigs while also being alcohol free, which is gentler on the edges. So I said why not because we all know that sometimes the got to be gel and other wig bond glues can be harsh on our actual hair. Now this isn't a wig lay tutorial because I am by no means a pro or even 100% confident at my wig laying abilities, but I can usually lay them to where I'm comfortable and it's decent for going out. So with that being said, I decided not to use a wig cap for this application only because of the parts in the unit. I didn't want the line of demarcation showing like I ran into last time, if you saw that video. And I honestly never use the combs in my wigs anyway. Um, obviously wig caps are to protect your hair, but even those can cause breakage at the crown. So just always use your best judgment when it comes to, you know, wig laying prep and how you want to have your hair underneath. This is what it looks like fully installed. <laughs> I was feeling myself, honey. <laughs> and as for the new bond glue, honestly, I am still on the fence. I feel like it left like a white cast at the bonding site. And I'm actually not sure if that is for a number of different reasons that I won't hold you up on. I'll just list them in the description box. And of course the wig info will be there as well. But since the butterfly lock is like the current trend right now you guys know I have done the individuals on myself before I really wanted to come and show you guys this super quick fun unit have you guys even tried the butterfly lock trend and are pre-braided units something that still intimidates you is it something that you would try like if I did a giveaway would you want to try them um, don't forget to like the video and comment below and let me know I'll see you guys in the next one